I've been playing a lot of Pac-Man recently, which got me thinking, what happens if you combine Minecraft and Pac-Man? So today, I'm going to be making Pac-Craft. TM. But first, let's go build the Pac-Man maze. done with the map, and this thing came out looking amazing, so now we need to figure out how the game is going to work. Alright, first, let's talk about the ghost AI. There's two parts to every ghost. The ghost, and the target position. The ghost always moves forward until it reaches an intersection, and then it checks which direction is closest to the target, and then turns. There are three game modes that the ghost can be in. The first, and most common game mode, is chase mode. This is when the ghosts are all chasing Pac-Man in their own way. The second game mode is scatter mode. This is when the ghosts each go to one of the four corners to give Pac-Man a break from consistently being chased. The third and final game mode is frightened mode. This is when the ghosts turn blue and is triggered by Pac-Man eating a power-up. When the ghost reaches an intersection, it will pick a random direction and do this until the power-up ends. The ghosts and Pac-Man are going to move along this track of orange wool. They check if one block in front of them is orange wool, and if it is, they will move forward. At every intersection, there's a light blue wool. If the ghosts detect this, they will turn in whatever way they need to. Now all that's left is a start screen, an end screen, and now the game should be ready to play. Cue the montage. Now, if you want to try to play this game, link to the world download will be in the description. To start the game, you'll find this start game block in your hotbar. Click it, and the game will begin. To control Pac-Man, use the arrow keys in your hotbar. Now that we're done with all that, let's play the game. Another fun thing you can do with the game is play it from a weird angle. After all, what's the point of building Pac-Man in Minecraft if you can't make it feel a bit more Minecrafty? Another fun thing you can do with the game is try to beat the high score. My high score is 37,550. If you can beat it, be sure to let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you also enjoy playing the game. Anyway, that's about it. See ya!